So, I no longer think Amazon is an evil company. Why? Next day delivery, baby! Next day delivery, baby! Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch. Got myself a selfie stick. Make it so much better to make videos on. Look at, look at how dope this is. Tell me how this isn't the most professional thing you've ever seen. Tell me this isn't the dopest shit that makes sense. <laughs> Tell me ain't the dopest shit that makes sense of all time. I could do this as well, like, um... Connor O'Malley. Let me tell you about the ongoing ankle saga, because I don't know if I've actually mentioned it on the channel. Uh, I think I've mentioned it offhand, but let me tell you about the ongoing ankles saga, because I actually have uh, a, some sort of solid idea of what's going on now. So, um, about a week and a half ago, I was getting in the shower, I, uh, you know, taking my clothes off, looked in the mirror, and I saw myself in the mirror, and I went, oh, fuck, I'm, I've gotten fat. I saw my belly, and I was like, oh, I can no longer ignore this problem. I can no longer just be, like, it's gone to the point where it's not like, haha, if I keep eating like this, I'll get fat. It's gone to the point where it's, oh, I've been eating big portions and not doing any exercise for like two years or more and now I've gotten fat and so as if to confirm my suspicions I bought myself a scale like a bathroom scale and I weighed myself for the first time in ages I don't remember what exactly what I weigh but uh, I put it into a BMI calculator and I am not overweight but if I gain like a few more kilos I'm overweight I'm like right at the edge of, of healthy weight like I'm not technically overweight yet, but like now's the time where it's like if you see if you see you're this close, this is where you got to start doing something about it. And so, I was thinking about what sort of stuff I could actually bring myself to do exercise with, and my solution was, the it's it's starting to get into you know it's coming out of winter finally. I've been meaning to go outside more anyway because I'm probably vitamin D deficient. Um, I'll start going on walks around the park, because it's quite a nice park, the one I live kind of close to. It's quite a nice park. Um, it's about the perfect size to walk around. It takes, you know, just under an hour to walk around once. So, um, if I walk around it and then walk like a little bit up and down, because the thing is, it's built on a hill. So it's like, depending on which direction you go, you could go this way, and then it's like, you're walking downhill, from where you enter and then you come back walking uphill and then there's a downhill section right at the end or you can go this way where you start with the steepest section going uphill and then you have a big downhill basically all the way back around so um well there's actually it's a bit more complicated than that the topography of the the, the park but essentially there's a big hill which makes it like it's not just an easy flat walk like there is actual exercise and plus um Walking, like a, a brisk walk is about as good as a run, as far as I've read online, for your heart. But if I started running, but well not just for your heart, but for like losing weight. But if I started running, like I, I couldn't, I would just have a heart attack. Because <laughs> I haven't done any exercise in like two years. So no, not going to start off by running. I think going for a daily walk in the park is like a fun thing to do. It's actually good. Like, you know, I've been thinking recently, I need to get out more anyway. Um, and then now I'm, I have an excuse, okay, to go exercise, I can just put on a podcast for an hour and walk around the park. And I did it the first time. It was actually quite nice. I was listening to the Hermetics podcast, which is like a kind of um, esoteric philosophy podcast, I suppose you could call it. Um, it's a pretty interesting podcast. Um, because I never get time to listen to it because it's an hour long podcast and it like... I don't have anything that I can do for an hour that doesn't require my ears. Like, I can't really listen to a podcast while I'm playing Counter-Strike because um, you need to use your ears to listen for people. Um, and it's like, I, I've done it before, but like, it means that if I have a clutch, I have to quickly tab out, quickly pause the podcast, quickly come back, and then I, by that time I'm dead, normally. <laughs> oh yeah, I shaved, by the way, did you notice? Yeah, I shaved. Uh, so, that's not an option. Making music, obviously I can't listen to a podcast while I'm making music. It's too distracting for my ears. Um, 
and I can't w- b- listen to a podcast while I'm doing any of my other hobbies like watching anime or reading or whatever. It's just, you know, not possible. I did try listening to a podcast while reading a book once, and it was just the most... It, it doesn't work. You can't... Well, I can't do it. Maybe someone else can. But having... A, going on a walk, listening to a podcast, sounds like the best possible course of action. Like, it's actually fun. And the first time I did it, it was actually, like, enjoyable. I listened to the podcast. It was a good podcast. I got, like, my heart rate elevated. It was a fun challenge, like, walking up the hill and stuff. I got back, and I was like, yeah, I'll just do this every day, except... I'll make sure to go in the mornings from now on, before I eat breakfast, and then it'll be good, you know, I'll work up a, a little bit of a sweat, have, and then I get home, have a shower, have breakfast, it'll be all good. Um, second time I did it, did it before breakfast. Great, it was great fun, listened to another episode of the Hermetics podcast, walked around the park, all the way, around and then up and down some of the hills while I had some more time before my hour was up, then got back home was out of breath, you know, tired, had a shower, rest of the day I felt like I'd actually achieved something, you know? And then, then it all started to go downhill. So a while ago, a long, well not that, what video is this in the middle of? There's a video I made, but in the middle of it I go, um, outside. And then I come back and I talk about how my ankles are hurting. On the third time I started, I tried to go out. By the time I got home, my ankles were fucking killing me. Like, really painful. Um, and not just like... Like, when you walk, if you're really tired from walking, it should be your, your muscles, like your, your thigh muscles and your calf muscles that are hurting. Not your ankle muscles and tendons and whatever the fuck is else in your ankles. So I was like, that's a bit strange. Maybe it's because I haven't used those muscles much. And they're sort of like, you know, struggling to keep up. I'll take a day's break. So I took a day's break, then... I, and also I'm like, also I'm walking in big fucking boots, so, um, I'm walking in, I was walking in these, my DMs, and, uh, they're, as you can see, maybe, the soles are, like, really worn down, so they're not really the best shoes for, they're heavy, they're not the best shoes for walking, so I was like, I'm also gonna buy some new shoes that have more support for, you know, walking, and then the third thing I thought was, maybe it's because of my flat feet, I have, uh, weak arches in my feet, so I have medically diagnosed flat feet, which uh, caused me problems when I was um, young. So that's why. But anyway, uh, basically, to cut a long story short, it the problem just got worse and worse. My new shoes arrived. They're actually really great shoes. They're very comfortable, um, and they they're lightweight, comfortable, waterproof, great. Ankles still hurt. And it just gets worse. So it got to the point where my ankles would be hurting too much to continue. I'd get like halfway around the park and I'd be like, oh, fuck, I can't keep walking. Take a break, sit down. Wait until it goes down a little bit and then try and hobble back home. And like, by the time I got home, I'd have to just, like, I would be in severe pain. I literally thought I'd broken my ankle at one point because it was so painful. Um, and it just kept getting worse. And I thought... I don't know what I thought, but I kept thinking like, oh, this time it'll be better, this time it'll be better, but instead, every time, it took less and less time for my ankles to start hurting. Um, eventually I bought some insoles for my shoes, which is supposed to help with flat feet, to flat footedness, thinking, finally, this will solve it. Today, I went out with them, it was the worst it's ever been, I made it about, um, maybe a hundred meters into the park gates before I was like this is not gonna happen I had to turn around and by the time I got home I was literally limping I couldn't fucking walk and I'm like this is not this is not like normal pains that has happened when you start walking like this is I have some sort of medical problem like that's this isn't normal and so I looked at I did some research turns out I most likely have um uh, tendonitis in my Achilles that, that's probably what it is I'm going to have to t- talk to a doctor about it. I'm going to book an appointment. Um, talk to a doctor about it. Maybe I have to do some physio. Get a, Maybe, um, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff for tendonitis. But, uh, yeah, most likely I have a tendonitis in my Achilles because I haven't used the muscle for so long. And then suddenly I went from not using it to going on, like, hour-long walks and... Uh, I've always walked like a retard, <laughs> like, 
the way I walk, I, I like I don't know how else to walk, but basically it's a lot of um, impact on my heels. Same when I run, it's even worse. It's just like I don't. People, my my parents would tease me about it. Like when oh here he comes, lurching along, oh, you know, and I was like, what the fuck? How else he supposed to walk? I I that's I can't figure out how to walk in a way that doesn't put so much impact on my heels. So that's probably making it worse as well. And uh, so that's the situation. As soon as I tried to start walking to try and lose weight, um, my ankles are fucked and I can't do it. I literally physically can't, like, it's too painful to continue. Um, and it's probably my, yeah, Achilles and tendonitis and whatever. So I'm going to call the doctor. Sadly, well, it's the weekend now, so I have to wait till Monday to call the doctor because he'll be off. Um, I call and talk to them. I'll definitely have to do some physio. They might prescribe me some sort of non steroid or anti inflammatory because tendonitis is like infl inflammatory. And um, maybe they'll put me in a leg splint where I have to sleep with a splint that keeps my feet up so that my Achilles doesn't shrink. So it like stretches my Achilles. That'll be interesting. Probably the most uncomfortable thing in my life. But then at least maybe I'll be able to walk. Typical. This is just a classic example. Can't do anything without something in my body going wrong. Um, oh, something in my body went wrong. I got fat. Okay, time to fix it. Oh, fixing it, something else in my body went wrong and it's worse than being fat. <laughs> classic. So that's the, that's the ankle saga. I have tendonitis. Something about Patreon. In the last episode, I talked about... Um, I said, hey guys... Uh, help <laughs> and no one's responded to that bit yet maybe they will but I wanted to have a, a theory to sort of add to it this is something I came up with today when I was on my very short lived walk that I cancelled very early which was I want to be a human I want to be a, an inhuman content nightmare I want to I want to be pumping out the content but I don't know what to be pumping out right like you can only make music for so long but especially when it comes to making music, like, um, you know, there's only, there's only so much you can do, especially with my sleep cycle. Like, I just recorded a song, a No Thank You song for my next album, um, or I, I recorded the skeleton of it. A composed would be a better uh, word. I could just composed uh, the new No Thank You song, or an, a new No Thank You song for my next album, which I still need to name. I need a name for the album. Uh... That's gonna be tough. Thinking of a good name, haven't haven't got any any good ideas for names yet, but um, they'll come to me maybe. I'll just you just name it after one of the tracks, right? That's what you do. You pick the track with the best name or the best track, and then you just name the album after it. What are these tracks called? Turkey running on this running on the spot's not a bad name for an album. Dead form. Dead form is a good name for an album. Maybe I call the album Dead Form. Uh, anyway. Uh, something? Oh yeah, so I was thinking about Patreon. Like, I need to be putting stuff up on Patreon, but I don't know what to put up. Do I put up, like, like so far I've just, like, I've been, I was saying I need to do more stuff, but what do I actually need to do? What if, hear me out here, I split the Patreon in two? What if I make a Patreon, the current one, the No Thank You Patreon, and then a new one, which is the this channel, Patreon, Uoi Naton, backwards, no thank you. Um, maybe I even go through the trouble of renaming this channel to something that you can actually pronounce. Nah, that's stupid. Um, <laughs> but what, like, what, what if, what would happen then? Bad things, maybe? Losing money? Almost certainly. But that way, it makes doing work easier because I know what to work on. Like, I can always be recording videos because then I have stuff to put on Patreon and I'm not putting it on a Patreon where I know no one's going to really give a shit about it. But I don't know if people care enough about this channel. Like, I, the thing I've been thinking about is, what, how many subs does this channel have right now? I don't remember. But it's like, like, it's, it's, it's growing, which is weird as fuck that it's growing because of, I don't know why it's growing. <laughs> I have no clue. I uh, I don't understand it at all. 
I don't know if people from my music are finding this channel. I've never gotten a comment. I've always been expecting this comment of, um, uh, I found this channel through your music, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm always expecting that comment. It's never happened so far. Which is very strange to me. I don't know how people, how this channel is growing in subscribers. Maybe people are watching my weirdcore playlist video and they think that's what this channel is. I just don't know. I just don't know. But what I'm trying to say is if this channel's growing and the, the working on YouTube is very different from working on music. Working on music is really difficult because, um, like there's, it's lots of nitty gritty little stuff that you got to work on, right? Like the way I make, I make albums is I'm working on like 50 albums at once. I have like a billion different, like right now I have the two that I know are going to happen, which is the one I was just talking about, the No Thank You album, and another No Thank You album called I Feel Sick. Then, like, on top of that, I was making, like... Okay, none of that matters. I don't need to get into details with that. Sorry, that's a, that's a tangent for another time. But basically how I make music is I'm always just casually recording ideas. And then, and then eventually I'll have, like, four tracks, five tracks that are all in the same sort of idea that, that like... Are, are all the same qualities, the same genres, the same production techniques, the sort of thing that could make an album. And then once I've gotten to that sort of stage where it's like, okay, I have enough here to that, that I've made like solid tracks that could form the basis of an album. Then I like slowly start focusing more and more on that until eventually I go into like overdrive mode where I'm just pumping out tracks for that album or work on that album right and then then it gets released and then I don't do anything for like a week and then I like slowly make more stuff basically this is how it works so but I never like I'm pretty sure that this punk album is going to be what comes out next I'm 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 100% sure of that actually because that's what I'm working on the most I have no idea how I feel six going to turn out I don't know if it remains a short album Maybe it just wants to be a short album. Maybe it doesn't want to be long. Maybe I come up with a great idea that will make the album amazing. I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen with that. But what I'm saying is, that's the point. I have no idea what to do most of the time. Plus, added on to the fact that some days I go to record and I just have no ideas. Like, I try a bunch of shit and none of them sound good and it's just a failed day. And that's fine. I'm used to those, like... I, I just move on, I just, I'm like, well, nothing good came out of that, it's fine, and then I move on with my day, but, like, what do I do if people are paying me for that stuff, like, I can't have one of those days, do you understand what I mean, well, the videos, I always know what to do, I always have something I want to talk about, because I'm a, I don't know, pretentious, what's the other word, where you only care about yourself, self-centered, that type of thing, I could talk about myself forever, right? So if I ever run out of ideas, I just talk about I just talk about something that happened to me or something I'm doing or thought I had. Like, I can talk about that forever. I will never run out of ideas. So, um, but that's for these type of videos. But what if, crazy of crazy, in the future, as I've been thinking more and more, I want to actually make this channel watchable? Like, what if in the future I'm like, you know what, I'm going to actually start making YouTube videos and I start making actual videos where, like, because, because I need money. I need money, guys. I need money. <laughs> um, like, what do I do that? I don't know. It's all very confusing. It's all a very confusing situation. Like, what if I start making YouTube videos on the No Thank You channel? I've had an idea for a video that I could make that would go on the main No Thank You channel um, for a while now. Haven't got around to shooting it for various technical reasons. Um... Like, what do I... It's all very confusing. It's all a very confusing mess right now. So what if I just separate the two? So you got No Thank You on one side and Waikanaton <laughs> on the other side and people patron what they want to patron. Because I don't think most of the people who give a shit about my music give a shit about these vlogs. Like, vast majority of them don't. So why are the higher tiers of my Patreon the vlogs? I don't know. 
I don't know what to do. I'm honestly just really confused about what to do with my my life right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Like, splitting it seems to make sense, but also seems like a bad idea. Because then it'd be like, oh, you can choose... If, you're, if, you, if you wanted to pay me for the vlogs, then you get to subscribe to this Patreon and you get more vlogs and stuff like, like podcasts and stuff like that. If you wanted to patron me for my art, then you get like, oh, here's, um, you know, you get songs, you get previews, unreleased songs, exclusive songs, um, stuff like that. Maybe I should start doing like a two weeks review type podcast, you know, like on Patreon, because I have the No Thank You Patreon podcast, but the point, like that podcast just comes out once in a while, whenever I feel like it. I should probably have like, I'm just directionless, is what I'm saying. Like, if I had a YouTube channel that was a YouTube channel, I had, like, a bunch of ideas written down, then it'd be like, okay, I'm working on the next video. Okay, now I'm working on the next video. Okay, now I'm working on the next video. But I don't have that. Instead, I have music, where it's like, I'm working on the next album, but, like, a little bit, and I'm also working on a bunch of other stuff, but not for very long each day. Like, I'm only working a little bit. So this is a bit more complicated than it seems. Okay, so I want to, like, I want to transition my life a little bit. I want to move my life a little bit in a slightly altered direction. I'm just, just not, you know, like, that plan, if there's ever a comet going to hit Earth, that they send a spaceship out and it just flies next to it and the gravity of the spaceship just nudges the comet or meteor just so that it doesn't hit the Earth, right? That's what I want to do with my life. Just nudge it in a little di di direction. And that nudge is away from a more consuming life to more or to more producing life. I'm producing somewhat, but I could, I like, I forget that doing things is fun. Making things is really fun. Like making things is, is both fun, like a great use of my time, takes up a lot of time, like, I'm always looking for things to do, right? As a neat, you got to be looking for things to do. I'm always looking for things to do. Making things is a great thing to do. It also, like, I need money. Making things is possible to make money. I want to make sure that people know this, that when I've been talking about the Patreon stuff, it's not just that I want to make more money on Patreon. That is a part of it. Obviously, I want to make more money. Who doesn't? But, like... It's also because I, I want to make sure the people who pay for the Patreon are getting what they actually want. It's not just completely selfish. I also want to make sure that people have what they are getting what they want out of it. Anyway, but production is not just about money, obviously. I want to be, you know, it's, it's good for the brain to be making stuff. It makes me feel good when I, when I produce something. Like, it's not just like passively consuming anime for two hours or reading a book or whatever. Like, those are all fun activities and most of what I do these days, but it's like, what if I spend every day, and like, a few hours of the day, every day is with creating something, and then at the end of it, I actually have something that I've done with my life, <laughs> like, that would be kind of nice, and like, I feel like I already do that to some extent, but I've really been not making as much music lately as I used to be, um, so, more music, more music, coming out of my brain and into the world, that's something I want to do. It's like, I don't know, like sometimes little things change in my brain, like, I don't remember how I used to make music, I have no idea how to, like, coming up with melodies recently has been hard. Normally I don't struggle with coming up with melodies, recently it's been hard. I've also been really struggling with coming up with, like, lyrics and vocal melodies. Like, there's one song on my next album, I've re-recorded that in I've I've completely deleted all of the vocals and re-recorded them twice. So there's been three different versions of the vocal track for this song. And I'm still not I just listened to it and I am like Dah, it's almost there, but I'm gonna have to delete the choruses and re-record the choruses and some of the verses also need to be read like re like scrap scrapped and redone. And that's going to be a fucking day of just working on that song again, just making more lyrics for that song, more singing. Another day of that, like, ugh! But to make it a good song, it needs it. 
So I've been having trouble with that, like writing lyrics and coming up with vocal melodies and choruses and stuff like that, because I don't want to use the same stuff. I've, maybe it's because I've had a few techniques that I've used in the past to make good catchy hooks and choruses and stuff, and I'm trying to avoid them. Mostly because I don't want to make something too poppy and catchy this time. I want to make something a bit more, you know, in your face aggressive. But also just because I've already used those techniques and I want to sort of expand my repertoire, do stuff that I haven't done before. I don't know. I'm in an interesting situation where I want to be more productive. But I don't know what to produce. Um, so that's why I'm thinking, now call me crazy for this. I might, maybe, is this a good idea? I don't want to say it if it's not a good idea. You know what, I'll just let it happen. If it happens, it happens. If it's not a good idea, it won't happen. So instead of saying it out loud, I'll just let it happen. If it happens, it happens. Um, okay, good, yes, that's the correct idea, no thank you. Um, I suppose that's what I had to say. I was trying to say the same thing uh, earlier, whatever, I don't remember when I said this, but um, about iteration and stuff like that when it comes to art. And I think I came up with a better way to explain what I mean, or a more detailed way to explain what I mean. And that is, uh, there, there are some times, there are some times when it's really important, or people think it's really important, to do something completely trailblazing and brand new. And that's cool, that's cool. I like that. But there are some times when the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, applies. And this is why I was bringing up Moe shows, cute girl shows type of situation, k -on type shows, right? Because uh, you don't need to innovate in that. I will gladly, if you just make another show that is almost the exact same as Hidemaru's sketch, I will watch it and enjoy it. I don't want you to fuck with the formula. It's already good. It already works. Don't fuck with it. Just make more of it. It's the same sort of situation with, like, black metal. Like, I will listen to any black metal record that is, like, the same minor second intervals with, uh, you know, cold, piercing, high-pitched guitars and recorded on a toaster, um with the same screaming vocal, like, I, like most black metal records that are, like, you know, true cult black metal formula, basically sound exactly the same, and I'll enjoy all of them, because I like the genre, like, it's good, right? I like that song, so I don't care how many times you make that song, because I will always enjoy that song. And now I have to play Counter-Strike. Fuck. Didn't time this way. I thought, thought it would be longer till, till the game started. Um, let me pause the video. Uh, where was I? I don't remember. I haven't even finished the game, I'm just gonna assume we're gonna win this round. Uh, but whatever. Uh, oh, one guy down. Oh, he makes the jump. Is he gonna get the other guy? Ooh. Oh no, he ran out of ammo! Oh fuck, okay, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Guys. Okay. This is now going in a completely different direction. What the fuck? Guys, 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 guys. This is not a joke. You know the... Every video featuring Digibo playlist that has existed forever? Why, why is my video on here? <laughs> why is Atonal Whiplash on this playlist? This is not a joke, it's on the playlist, look, look, it's the official X Studio, every YouTube video featuring the Golden Witch it's now called, but it's the same one as it's always been, and has Atonal Whiplash in the playlist. Digi's not in this video. Oh, Digi is in this video. Oh yeah, this is the video with the Digi song in it. That's fucking surreal. This is the one with the song that goes... The, with the Kanye thing, right? This is that video? Is it? I'm pretty sure it's that video. Hold on a minute. I gotta find, I gotta find the clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there, there's Digi. Okay, 
I was like, what the fuck? Why is this? Anyway, so what I was talking about. <laughs> Let's get back to the topic at hand. So, that was a very confusing moment for me. So I'm getting, my, my digi-autism is getting back. I'm trying to cope with various things that are going on in my life right now. And I'm coping with autism, as I usually do. And I'm like, what's the one autism I have that will, that I can consume without any effort? Because effort is quite difficult for me right now. Because of various things going on in my life. And, um, which I won't talk. I wonder when I'm going to talk about those. It's just not pleasant to talk about, so I don't really want to. But I feel like I have to mention it at some point. I have been contemplating this, my last beer, for the past two hours. I've been thinking, should I open it? Should I not open it? Fuck it. I can drink a pint of beer in two hours. It won't be a problem. I mean, ah, whatever. Sorry, rambling. Ah, get back to the topic at hand. No, thank you. What's the topic at hand? Um, iteration and shit, right? So, iterating rather than necessarily innovating. Like, that's, um, basically there's a part of my mind that is still the attitude that I had, like, a few years ago. See, a few years ago, when it came to media, especially music and anime, but, like, actually, not, that came to all media, films, TV shows, everything. I didn't care about it unless I perceived it that it was doing something really unique and original. Like, that's that was the main thing I did. Like, when it came to music, if you look at my, like, my albums playlist, like, all of the stuff there is there just because it's experimental. I would listen to anything that was, like, experimental and, like, just unusual music. But, like, as time has gone on, I, like... How I got there is that I don't like most of the things that people consider, like, normal in a genre. So, like, typical pop music. I don't like pop music. I, in general, I don't really like pop music. Or, like, the more popular anime. I don't really like the more popular anime. The sort of prestige TV, typical, like, p TV shows that are really popular. I find them really uninteresting. Um, these sorts of things, right? Um, uh, and so, like, what I valued more than just, like, being that sort of thing, like, most people consider good or like classically good would be being unique and individual. So I was like listening to a lot of noise music and I still listen to noise music from time to time, but I was listening to all sorts of crazy music just as long as it was something that I hadn't heard before, something that would give me that little dopamine release of like, this is something brand new that you've never even conceived of. Did the entire color palette of the video just go green? And then what is happening? God, this is a fucking, this is strange. Anyway. So that was my, that was like the thing I valued more than anything. And I would watch like all the art house anime and I would like, you know, I just cared a lot about that sort of thing. And I was like, all oh, my music has to be experimental and shit, right? But as time's gone on and I've sort of learned what my taste is better, I've, I've gone away from that attitude and it's more like, I just want more of the stuff that I like. So it's like, I just want more Moe shows. I don't want, I mean, it would be cool to have a really neat experimental anime actually come out because they don't make those anymore but it'd be cool but like Wonder Egg Priority I had last season and that's supposed to be a little bit of that and I'm completely I'm not interested in it at all like I've had no desire to watch it whereas I do have a desire to watch God You Used to Season 3 and you know other Moe shows in the same way like uh, th I, I'm not really interested in looking at for all this like crazy new music right now I'm just listening to more of the stuff I already like um, and that's where I'm going with my art as well I'm sort of going away from my old attitude which was if it's not something completely out there experimental that no one's ever seen before it's not worth doing to now to just you know that thing you like Make it so there's more of that in the world, because you know you like it, so make it so there's more of that. Like my current albums that I'm working on, like, uh, fucking my current main album that I'm working on. What did I, I, I came up with a name for it in this, this, this 
this episode, didn't I? What did I call it? Sorry about this. Dead Form. Dead Form. That's a good name for an album. Dead Form. Um, like, Dead Form is not really a very innovative album at all. It's, it's, uh, it's just, hey, I really like Crystal Castles, their first album, and the Dodo EP, like early Crystal Castles, but you only literally have one album, or one album and one EP of that music, and then no more. Like, there's other kind of similar bands, like, um, I guess, uh, what are they called? <sighs> Something... The Cat Bambino. Cat Bambino are kind of similar to the first uh, album, but they're also different. Like, they, they're good. I also love Cat Bambino, but it's not the same as the first Crystal Castles album. So it's like, you, pretty much all you have is that first Crystal Castles album and the Do Dare EP, if you want music like that. Then, like, specifically out of that album, there's, like, I don't, I mean, I like all of the songs, but there's some of the songs, like, they're more punk songs that I really, really like. And that's only like a few songs on that album, that, and those are the only type of that that exists in the whole world. Then, Show Me The Body's first, or I think it's the second album actually, but Body War by Show Me The Body. Only one album of that exists, and I mean, other Show Me The Body albums are also good, so I'm okay with that too, but... Show Me The Body, um, Death From Above 1975, or whatever that band's called. Again, only one band that makes music that sounds like that. Uh, all of this sort of stuff, right, where it's like a bunch of these bands that I like, that like, and I'm just like, I want more of that, but it doesn't exist, so I'm just going to make it myself. And so that's what I'm doing, that's what um, Dead Form is, it's just more of the stuff that I already like. That's the plan anyway. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to say, and that's what this is too. Rather than, you know, what I was trying to do before, which was like, well, there's no... It's kind of this conclusion I came to after I made Denper, which is the only way that I could actually improve upon those vlogs at that point, like, and continue innovating and making crazy new shit, would be to just make a feature film, <laughs> like, just an actual film, and that would be fiction. And so then I was like, well, there's no way to innovate and make this more interesting as non-fiction. So I just have to start making, like, hyper-fiction, hyper-stitional fiction, I mean. Um, and that manifested in, a, in, like, a Star Trek fan fiction series called Alien Observer, which you may have seen the first two episodes of. And um, once I put them out, I realised it wasn't very good. I realised that the idea can't really go very far. Um... Like, it's a decent idea, but, um, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's more like a, a it's more like a, a, the start of something rather than a whole thing, and I was trying to make it a whole thing, so that's not going to happen. Instead, I'm just going to take what I already like, which is the video insomnia analysis, and I'm just going to make more of that, because that's what I've always been doing, and I just want more of it to exist. And so I'm just going to make more of it, because there needs to be more of it in the world. And there's no more of it coming from that side of the fence, is there? So I'm in charge now. What if you had a new insomnia analysis every day? That's what Night Shift is. Except I don't know if it'll be every day. I don't want to put that much pressure on myself. I'm just very invested in it right now. <sighs> just iterating. Because it naturally new things will come, just because I'm a different person at a different time doing my own things. Naturally, it'll be its own thing. You don't have to try hard. You don't have to, like, force yourself to make shit that's bad so that it's new. You can just make the same thing other people have made if you think it's good already and doesn't really need to be changed. And that's my, that's like, compounded by the fact that I'm watching Gotcha Yusa right now. And I'm just thinking, 
not only is every episode of Gotcha Yusa basically the same, not only is every season of Gotcha Yusa basically the same, every, like, joke in Gotcha Yusa is basically the same. And Gotcha Yusa itself is basically the same as, like, Kinero Mosaic and Hinakano and, um, the other one, Wakaba Girl. All of the Mangatang Kirara Max? I forget which one. But all of those, like, they're basically all the same show. Uh, in different settings, with slightly different characters, but they're pretty much all the same show. But then those are all pretty much the same as all of those Slice of Life shows, the similar Cute Girls Don't Cute Things shows. They're all basically the same show, but I will watch them all because it's a good show. <laughs> it's just the same, the same episode over and over again, but I don't care because it's a good episode. It's just the same song over and over again, but it's a good fucking song, so I don't care. That's my attitude right now, is, like, that's what I actually like in media now, more than, more so than crazy innovation, which is what I was used to be super, super into, and the only really thing I cared about, now I'm like, I just want to hear more things that sound like Finally Rich, I just want to hear Finally Rich again, but with a different, like, not just Finally Rich again, but like another album that's just Finally Rich again, you know? Like, that's what I want to listen to. I just want to listen to Hold Your Horses by Hella, but, like, not Hold Your Horses by Hella, because I already listened to it too many times. So I need another album that sounds like that, but isn't that album. I, like, uh, I need another album that sounds like, um, Don, Le, what's it called? Don Le Te De Foret by Gris? Is that, am I getting things confused? One of those black metal albums. Thankfully, thankfully, every DSPM album sounds like that, so I'm upset. I have loads of DSPM to listen to forever, and it's all good. Well, it's not all good. There's a lot of actually pretty bad DSPM, but all the stuff that sounds like that is good, and so I'm happy. But I don't have another album that sounds like Crystal Castles that, and... Um, Crystal Castle's Death From Above, Show Me The Body, all combined into one. So I'm making it, because I don't have one of those. Um, this is art created from, for yourself. When you make something, because it's something that you wish existed, and you're just like, I'm going to do that. It's the art equivalent of just like utilitarianism, or not utilitarianism, but like pragmatism. You're just doing it because you want it to exist, not for any other reason. No, I'm not trying to make some grand artistic statement. I'm done with grand artistic statements for a short period of time. Because I got, you know, those are stupid. <laughs> Fuck grand artistic statements. You don't need to make them. Who cares? Fuck grand artistic... It's like... I'm doing more of like a... Less like... Imagine I'm no longer like a painter. I'm a graphic designer. And I'm no longer... A sculptor. I'm a... I don't know, like a, a, a carpenter, right? Like, one makes stuff that's just useless but looks cool. The other one makes something that's functional and looks cool. I want to be functional and look cool. That This is this, is, this has been the night shift. Is that how I'm ending this video? <laughs> this is this has been the night shift. So that's my new outro. Patreon.com forward slash no thank you, the O's are zeros. This has been the night shift. Thanks for listening. <laughs>